Greetings fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215 and right now we're in the state of Pennsylvania. We're currently in the city of Philadelphia. Today we're going to be doing a virtual tour of the West Kensington Hood, not to be confused with its sister neighborhoods, North Kensington, East Kensington, and Old Kensington. There are four neighborhoods out of the 100 plus neighborhoods here in Philadelphia, PA, which carry the name Kensington. Today we're focused on the West Kensington neighborhood located in the North Philadelphia East section of North Philly. Right now we just made a right hand turn off of Dolphin Street. We're now on the 2200 block of Phillip Street. We're traveling southbound on Phillip. Today's high is around 56 degrees. We have gray skies. This was documented on a Friday. On our left hand side, we have a community garden. On our right hand side, we have some artwork. We have some empty lots on our left. We have some new homes over here on our left hand side. These were just made recently and they are already inhabited. 2213, 2211, 2209, and 2207. Brand new homes, three story homes. We have another home on our left hand side. As you can see, it is a brand new property on our left hand side. My buddy, his grandmother, she passed away, but she used to actually own that lot and the house directly next to it where they made that new house. So I remember when I was a youngster, I used to go visit his grandma's house with him and she used to live in that property. She passed away though. We have two story homes on our left. We have the back of some art studios that's located on our right hand side. You're looking at the back side of the art studios. This drive with caution, we do have some potholes. Directly in front of us, if you look up, you'll see a large factory. That factory was abandoned for many years. They repurposed it and they ended up renovating it and turning it into luxury apartments. Check it out, a new property for sale on my left. 2103 North Palethorpe Street, Philadelphia, PA, 19122 would be that area code if you wanna look up what they're selling that brand new three-story home for. So that large warehouse in front of us, as you can see, it's kind of tan with all the new windows. You see that top water tower? They named it Gotham. So it says Gotham on it. Trippy, right? Kind of reminds me of uh, the Batman movie, Gotham City. We're making a left-hand turn on Diamond Street. We're now traveling eastbound on Diamond. We're passing second and Diamond. Let's go through this yellow light ever so cautiously. We have Skin Deep Tattoo Studios on my right hand side. Although before that was a tattoo studio, that used to be a little hardware store. And a quick story is the son gunned down his own father. We're passing Palethorpe, we just passed Palethorpe. We have El Sabor restaurant on our right. Fun fact about that restaurant, it used to be a funeral home, but now it's a very popular Hispanic eatery. They're known for their bang. Bang is bread. They make a very signature Spanish bread in that place. It's a sweet bread. And to my knowledge, the dough is shipped from Puerto Rico. We have North Square Community Alliance on our right hand side. Used to be known as North Square Civic Association, NSCA. We have North Square Park on our left hand side. These homes on our right hand side, brand new homes, they sold anywhere from around $400,000 to $500,000. They were made on the original St. Boniface church grounds. We have Kensington Hospital directly in front of us. Check it out, you read that? That's Kensington Hospital Medical Center. They have a dentistry office there and they do several other things in that building. On our left is North Square Park. You have the Kensington Hospital van on our right. So you had the Kensington Hospital graphics. There also used to be, I believe, a rehab center over here on my right hand side, as well as possibly a halfway house that used to surround the park on our left hand side. We got Halftime Good Time Sports Bar on our right hand side. They've been there for quite some time. We have a pharmacy. That pharmacy has been held up before. Directly in front of us, you'll see the Harbison's Milk and Ice Cream Milk Jug on top of that factory. We're going to make this left on Howard Street. 
If we could have continued going forward by one block, that would have been the boundary that separates West Kensington from East Kensington. But for now, we're gonna come here. We'll go under the L. I just don't wanna focus under the L just yet. This is North Square Park on our left-hand side. We have Casa Carmen Aponte on our right. North Square Senior Citizen Center on our right. Catholic Social Services, that's a senior home. Now, many people don't know that this park on my left-hand side used to be coined Needle Park. Yes, you heard that right, Needle Park. It was just like the park that is also known as Needle Park named McPherson Square. McPherson Square is located in Upper Kensington and you guys might be familiar, familiar with that in the videos that are titled Zombie Land and that they cover where the crisis is taking place. Well, this park on my left-hand side was established in 1857. This is North Square Park. But at one point it used to be filled with users um, using substances and falling asleep next to the trees with needles. And back in the day, you would find a lot of needles in this park. And the Latin women of this community took it upon themselves to clean up the neighborhood and to fight for the neighborhood. And they ended up turning this neighborhood around a full 180. On our right-hand side was the original North Square Civic Association building with the purple entrance. You see right there on my right? Beautiful archway with the handicap ramp. We got cops driving straight towards us. Check this out, guys. Up a one-way. We're driving down a one-way. Look at this. They're driving straight towards us. All right, now they're turning up another one-way, up Hancock. So they must be responding to a call. We have West Kensington Ministries on our left-hand side. You see that church on our left? That's called West Kensington Ministries. That is a Presbyterian church. We are going to, let me see, let's make this uh, right-hand turn coming up here. I'm gonna turn right on Palethorpe. We have a new building being made right here on our left that used to be a little warehouse, but they ended up uh, selling it and knocking it down to make what looks to be like homes and or luxury apartments. Let's make this right on the 2200 block of Palethorpe Street. We have a Chinese food takeout right here on our left, which used to be a corner store back in the day that you couldn't even enter. You had to ask uh, for what you wanted behind a plexiglass. Boy, were they ahead of their time considering what happened in 2019 and forward. So this block right here, I'm gonna sum up a quick story. This block right here is uh, a block that has a family that's been living in this area for five generations, at least five generations. They go by the name the Browns, which to my knowledge is their last name. And at least five generations have been raised here on this block. They still reside here to this day. I was once told um, that they owned at least 14 properties on this block and literally the whole entire family lived on this block and still live here to this day we have a new house on my right hand side that was just made you see how they paint it uh, red yellow and green well this is a community garden on our left hand side and they take pride in maintaining these community gardens providing services social services on my right you can actually see one of the browns miss iris brown she tends to the community garden. She is actually painted um, in mosaic art on that little, it was like a little tiki hut. So that's an interesting footnote. We're at Palethorpe, Palethorpe and Dolphin. We're gonna continue traveling northbound on Palethorpe. We have a bunch of new houses. On my right, you see those, uh, those rocking horses? You see it on the pole? So this whole lot on my right, back in the day when I was a kid growing up, it was full of those rocky horses. Uh, rocking horses sound like I said Rocky right like from the movie we have some new properties on my right those two or three new properties were built as of recently brand new home selling for three hundred four hundred thousand dollars again new one on my left new one on my right La Quente Auto Repair I'm actually good folks with those people they actually help me out every time I need some sort of um, extra help you know removing bolts and stuff or welding shout out to my homie Sono I see your papa out there bro This property right here, I'm not gonna single it out, but we just passed a property where the Philadelphia um, Dominican rapper, his name is AO215, this is his block. This is the block that he grew up on. And to my knowledge, he was signed to Rockefeller. Rockefeller um, is known to be affiliated with Jay-Z, you know, the rapper Jay-Z. And he signed a bunch of other artists um, under sub labels such as Dream Chasers and all that with Meek Mill and Rick Ross and all that. Well, anyway, that block that we just passed, 
that's where the Philadelphia rapper Ayo was from. We have some graffiti over here on our left. On our right, we have a church that is a Pentecostal church. To my knowledge, at one point, it was, what was it, a Jewish uh, school? It was a Jewish school before they turned it into a Pentecostal church. We're exiting the 2400 block of Palethorpe. We're now entering the 2500 block of Palethorpe. On our right hand side, we have some graffiti, some artwork. You have some empty lots on our left, which won't be empty for too much longer because a lot of this neighborhood in West Kensington is getting bought out and rebuilt. Gentrification has been hitting this neighborhood for the last decade, decade and a half easily. In the early 2000s, I was a part of meetings that let me know that this neighborhood was gonna go um, in a more positive direction. Shout out to my buddy Steve. That's my buddy Steve's house. Then we got my other homie Tone. Tone's pop um, was shot right here, coming up on the corner. This is my buddy Tone's um, block, also Steve and Tone. I actually know a couple people from this block, as well as the next block, but his father was, I think, mistakenly, Oh, I see Bark's artwork on my left-hand side, B-A-R-K, graffiti artist Bark. Yeah, my buddy's pop was out here one summer day, and he was shot. And I believe he made a full recovery. Yeah. I'm really appreciative of Tone because Tone got me one of my, um, one of, one of, one of my greatest dogs that passed away, Brownie. He passed away, but it was because of Tone that I got Brownie. So we just passed Huntingdon. We have a rest in peace memorial on my right hand side. You can see that box. Yeah, he actually passed away recently. That was Surge, Surge, rest in peace Surge. Surge, that boy didn't age a bit. He was um, young, wild and free. And he used to ride a lot of dirt bikes, banshees. He used to have nice cars. Shout out to Lou Rock. Lou Rock from this block, the homie Lou Rock. Get money, boys. I had an uncle that once stood in this house over here on my left for a short period of time. <laughs> one, of, one of my crazier uncles, but he was definitely a good uncle. Oh, they built a little garage right here out of cinder blocks. Mm, I like he, I like he. Okay, we're now approaching the borderline, which is Lehigh Avenue. If we cross over, which we can't, it's a do not enter. I actually ran from the cops one day when I was on my CRF 150R. Crazy story. I got chased. The cops tried to hit me off the bike, but I went straight in front of us where that do not enter is at. And I drove like, -da 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 like three blocks straight. I had all types of cops on me. But anyway, that's, that's a different story. <laughs> but um, if we go forward and we cross over, that's Fairhill. That's the Fairhill neighborhood. So we definitely don't want to go over there because we're focused on West Kensington. So we're going to make this left-hand turn. We're going to go down 2nd Street. Now, we can go forward to 5th Street. 5th Street would be the border of the West Kensington neighborhood. 5th Street and Lehigh to our left-hand side is all considered West Kensington. Although, that's West Kensington. We're not going to be able to cover it today because there's so much real estate. We, we are definitely going to need a second part of this West Kensington virtual tour series. Now, mind you, what you're watching right now is part five of the Kensington virtual tour series that I decided to take upon myself and update some 2023 videos of the Kensington neighborhoods. I'm a lifelong resident of Kensington. I was born in Kensington at Episcopal Hospital, which is located behind us. I also went to school in the Kensington neighborhood and all of that stuff. So I thought this would be uh, a bright idea to document Kensington from a lifelong residence perspective. We're passing a McDonald's on our right. We actually went there once when I was a youngster. We're passing a Wendy's and met a, a quote unquote famous Spanish salsa. Uh, what was he salsa? I think he was a salsa singer. He gave us his um, autograph, gave us his album and bought us anything we wanted on the menu. We're passing second and hunting them. Um, there used to be a gas station on my right, and that lot's been repurposed several times. We're passing Silver's Bakery. There's some new houses on our left. You see, brand spanking new. We got a tattoo parlor on our left-hand side, which was actually relocated right up the block to Diamond. We passed that in the beginning. We got a system shop right here on my right. 
if you want to get any type of custom car audio, custom paneling, custom decks, things of that nature, you want to stop by here on 2nd and Cumberland. The guy does the stuff clean. He does quality work. You definitely want to come here and get your car audio done. He makes all sort of door panels, decks. He will deck your car out for a good price. That building on my right hand side is brand new. You see it with the whole uh, gate and all of that stuff. Brand spanking new in the West Kensington neighborhood. We have a guy that does a posty over here on our left. Vinyl repair, sunroof repair, does all that stuff. On our right, we got engine ladder too. Rest in peace to Lou Rock's sister. He lost his sister on this block and I believe some nieces and nephews. Two classic Monte Carlos on our right. Yes, y'all see that. Um, yeah, my buddy Lou Rock that I mentioned earlier on in the story, I believe his, his sister was in a fire. That was coincidentally right next to the firehouse. We're passing second in York. Again, look at this gigantic property they made on my right. That used to be an empty lot. Now it's a giant luxury apartment. Huge property, huge. We have what used to be a tin shop over here, but ironically, they opened up a tin shop years later, like two doors down. This lot on my left, they just recently sold it. It was a used car dealership. They sold it to some property owners, which only lie a block or two ahead of us. We're at Second and Dolphin Street. Again, we got brand new building on our right hand side, squeezed in. This block right here, unfortunately, is closed. They're doing some street work directly in front of us. We have a Chinese store over here on my left hand side. Chinese store. Uh, they, they, uh, there was a little brake shop right here on my left hand side. They knocked down the brake shop because they're going to do some more work. Look at there's the new building that they're making over here. This food market slash lottery spot on my left hand side has been uh, hit by several buses, ladies and gentlemen. There's been several buses that crashed into that lottery spot. We're at Susquehanna and American Street. So what we will do is because I wanted to take you guys through Hancock, we're gonna start traveling northbound, southbound. So we're gonna take this straight up to Dolphin. We're gonna make a right hand turn on Dolphin and then we will go through Masher and come up around Hancock. Just because of that street work and that street work taking place, we weren't able to take you straight down 2nd Street. We're at American and Dolphin Street. Let us make this right-hand turn on Dolphin. We're coming off of American Street. American Street had a lot of uh, updates done recently. We have a Cess piece over here on our left-hand side. Cess is one of the older uh, graffiti writers in Philadelphia's graffiti culture. He's been around for quite some time. I'm born in 88, so when I was growing up, I was seeing a lot of Cess, Kid, and so on. We're passing 2nd Street, we're at 2nd and Dolphin. ESC stands for every second counts. And when you're doing graffiti, every second does count. We have a brand new property over here on my left hand side. 183 West Dolphin Street, Philadelphia PA 19133. You guys can look up that property value. I believe it sold for a little over 350, almost $400,000. We're at Dolphin, Hancock and Dolphin. There was once a squad here from back in the day called DSP, which stood for Dolphin Street Posse. Right now we're at Masher, Masher and Dolphin. We're gonna make this right-hand turn. So that blue building on my right-hand side was once Hunter Elementary School. It was once Hunter, now it is uh, vacant. They also repurposed it to like Pan American School. I think they repurposed it to about two or three other buildings. Um, a three, two or three other usages, but right now it's empty. They were supposed to make it a police station at one point or another, but they never got around to doing that. There used to be a church here back in the day that I remember when I was a youngster, way back when. I like that garage and that uh, little building on my right. It's a pretty cool building. So I had an uncle that passed away right here. Somebody who was in the family, he got gunned down right here on my right hand side, literally. And he got gunned down on, if I recall correctly, Christmas morning, right here on my right-hand side. Yep, I was a youngster. I was probably like nine, 10 years old. He was probably in his late teens. And he came out of the house and what they did was, they I guess they must've been plotting on him. They saw him, they shot him twice in his back. 
which knocked him down, and they got out the car and point blank range put a bullet in the back of his head. So that's a true story. There's many uh, shootings that happened in this neighborhood that I can't recall. For example, we're coming up to a corner where two people passed away at. Now, one of them is slightly um, interesting compared to the other. The other, he passed away one day after I lost my dog. Rest in peace, Brownie. Right here on my left-hand side on that pole. You see that little box over there that's on the ground next to the pole across the street from West Kensington Ministry Church? There's a little heart and a bunch of flowers. That's been there for a few years. They haven't removed it. His crime is still unsolved. They put a $25,000 reward. There's no cameras on this corner, unfortunately. They do not know who did his crime. His crime is still unsolved to this day. I believe his name was Francisco. Rest in peace and my condolences go out to his family. There was another gentleman who passed away right here where we're parked at. We're actually parked at where he fell down at. But he ran through this whole entire block um, after being shot and he didn't make it much further than a block and he passed away right next to us, right where we're um, driving through right now. We're entering the 2200 block of Hancock Again, on our right-hand side, if we make a right down Kelowna, there was about two people shot on Kelowna at different periods of this block's history. We have some new houses on our left-hand side, 2212, 2210 is brand new. We have that squirrel. Fun fact, the guy who owns that house with the squirrel, he's from Texas. He's from Texas, guys. He's, he, he, he moved over here from Texas, ladies and gentlemen, so that goes to show you. And they painted the squirrel after he moved to the house. So this block right here is a very diverse block, as you can see visually. A lot of colors. Three-story block, row home block. This block back in the day was a heavy crack block. They used to sell a lot of uh, crack, coke, things of that nature. Now it's um, a lot different than what it once was. They cleaned it up a bit. This block does have a heavy history. There was a homie that I had, um, old head Mo, shout out to Mo, because we're about to pass his spot now. Mo um, was also shot on that corner, but he lived to tell his story, and I used to cut Mo's hair. Shout out to Mo, man, because Mo put some money in my pockets when I was a youngster. He made sure that when I would go cut his hair and do house calls, he would get his son's hairs cut, or anybody, if there was a guy on the block, he'd say, yo, you want a haircut? My young boy will take care of you. And he used to pay me for cutting anybody's hair. That was one of the house calls that I used to do. We're at uh, Hancock and York. But he was shot about nine times, I believe. And he lived to tell about it, but it did give him, like, PTSD. And he still walks around the city to this day. These are all new properties on our right. The big ones. Elite house. And again, on our right, a new one. Look, we're coming up to more. You can tell the new ones because they're bohemoths. They're huge. On our left, this was an empty lot for sale. 2436 North Hancock Street, Philadelphia, PA, 19133. It's for sale. If you guys want to price check that property and see what value is going for in the West Kensington neighborhood. This is that church on our left-hand side, Iglesia Apostolica. I believe, I don't know the actual current name, but that's what it says on it. So, But it is a Pentecostal church. I do know that for sure. There's another church right there, that baby blue building on our left. We're at Hancock in Cumberland. That baby blue building on our left is another church. On our right, those empty lots, guess what? Look it, they dug the ground, they're laying the foundation, they're building brand new homes, guys. Brand spanking new, which I guarantee you will sell for around $400,000 a piece. Is it worth it? That's not up to me to judge. <laughs> I'm just here to provide basic information. House for rent on my right, 2519 North Hancock Street, Philadelphia, PA is for rent, but all of these on my right are new. They were made on empty lots. On our left, these are all original. They're actually rehabbing one, they put a new, uh, facade, a new front. On our right, this factory was abandoned for many years. I seen some investors a couple years ago standing around it with clipboards, which tells me that they'll probably end up purchasing it and repurposing it. We're at the intersection of Hancock and Huntingdon. This corner of Huntingdon, Hancock, uh, Pale Thorpe and whatnot has had a fair amount of uh, shootings throughout its lifetime. We passed another church on our left. On our right-hand side, we're passing a ton of graffiti. Ton of graffiti from corner to corner. This big building on our left, it's available now. It was once some sort of public resources build, building, but they ended up closing it down 
and now it's for sale. It says available. So if anybody's looking for a gigantic building in North Philly, it's for sale or at least 25,000 square feet. Contact 215-470-6667. Tell them that I sent you so they can hook it up with a little commission. Say, no, <laughs> they ain't going to care that I sent you. But seriously, if you buy that building, at least, at least invite me over, bro. Uh, we got Lehigh Laundry Man in front of us. Again, if we cross over Lehigh, Lehigh's the borderline. We'll be in the Fairhill neighborhood. That park right there on our left-hand side, that park right there, that park, it go down. We got a live poultry spot on my right. We got the, the, you see the murals on my right on that building? That's the lighthouse. After school program, child care development, and stuff like that. We're on Masher. Let's make this right-hand side on Masher. Right-hand turn. You see that castle-looking thing on our left? I, I was born at, at that hospital. That's called Episcopal Hospital. We got a car behind us, so I'm going to have to speed it up some, even though I've been driving very slow. We're traveling about 15 miles per hour. I'm going to pull over very cautiously, put my signals, pull over, so that the vehicles can go around me, because I don't want the vehicles to influence my speed. All right, we got Albertina Grocery on our right. We got... Mr. Ortiz on our left, if, if, if you're from this area or from North Philly and you ever look for like water heaters or, 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 or things of that nature, this guy right here hoards them. <laughs> Not only does he hoard them, but he makes a business all right. He sells them. Um, Mr. Ortiz is an owner of many lots of, all surrounding that corner. He, he owns several properties, but he also runs a business there. On our left, new buildings. Look at new. One, two three four on our left there's some potholes here let me be very cautious because they do the plumbing to these buildings they um ouch rip the streets open and people like myself don't enjoy that ouch there goes my front lip ouch okay i think we got one more hump to go over ouch shout out to is costanza he made a clever point he said drive around with a bucket full of rocks so every time you go through something that's unpassable you can fill it up makes sense but i ain't bring no rocks today buddy hey <laughs> but thanks for the suggestion that might end up weighing down my car costing me more gas <laughs> new buildings on my right new building we pass on our left we're at masher and cumberland that bar right there on my right hand side on the corner it don't look like a bar right it looks like a single row home um that used to be a, an area where you can purchase a variety of substances <laughs> new building on my right new building on my right a couple original buildings on my left and on my right, and then new buildings on my left. You can see that gigantic sh property on the left with all the glassy windows. You see that? That's all new. On our right, you see this one with the black bricks? New. This huge lot right here on my right is not gonna be there for longer. Then again, on my right, you see that white and black building? New. And then on our left on the corner? New. So we're at Masher and York. On our left-hand side, you see those Pueblo-looking style houses? That was one of the initiatives that North Square at the time, North Square Civic Association, before they became North Square Community Alliance, they led this initiative for these houses on our left, affordable low-income houses. On our right, rent, brand new, brand new. See the difference from what North Square was trying to do versus what all these investors were trying to do? For example, this big gray house on my right that they squeezed in. North Square was trying to build brand new homes, which they did several projects in the community, for low cost, low cost being 80,000, 90,000, 120, 130,000, affordable low income houses that minorities can live in and that they can afford, right? Fast forward to when gentrification hit this neighborhood, we already went straight, so we don't wanna go straight again. That's where North Square Park's at. This is Hunter Elementary School. So fast forward, let's pass Waterloo. I can make a left on Waterloo, but it's gonna send us around. It's gonna take us to Waterloo Playground and it's just gonna be a dead end. So let's just go through Howard. Howard, there's more to see here. That's a brand new property on my right too. We're at Howard and Dolphin. We got York and Dolphin Station in front of us as well as West Kensington Library. But let's make this left on Howard Street. So this is another block that North Square is responsible for. So again, like I was comparing and contrasting, man, a Jeep behind me turned with me twice and I'm trying to like get out of there anyway. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. You can go, bro. Because he turned with me, and it's like sometimes I, I I always pay attention to my rearview mirror. And if you turn with me more than three or four times, like I'm thinking you like like I'm over here, and I'm like, you know what I mean? Like like I'm part part of the CIA ties or whatever. <laughs> like some somebody definitely following me. But um, no, I also do that too, so they don't influence my speed. Then they be tailing me, and they want me to go faster. So you see this block right here? 
on my left and on my right, again, these are affordable houses that were um, initiated by Nora Square Civic Association. These houses were going for 135000 each when they made them. If you qualify, which most of them qualify for low income subsidy, you got about thirty five dollars to $40,000 grant, free money from the city, which means you only got left with about ninety-five dollars to $100,000. But in order to close on the closing costs, you only needed about five dollars to $6,000 to close on the closing costs. And they would help you and, and, and walk you through the steps of, of, of receiving first time home buyer grants and all that stuff. Right, right, right. So that's what Norris Square was trying to do with this community, trying to keep it you know, for the, for the, for the low income pe people, you know, giving them an opportunity to become home owners, not renters, you know, but homeowners. Now, investors like V Properties, which is one of the biggest investors in this area, which I had the unfortunate pleasure of meeting one day, um, V Properties, that little, I'm sorry, side note, you see that little cafe on our left? They repurposed that several times. They actually just renovated and made it look nicer. This school on my right is Hunter Elementary School. Remember we passed the blue building earlier that said it's abandoned? This is where they moved Hunter Elementary School to, to our right-hand side. It's a brand new school, relatively new, pretty modern. They made it about probably 15 years ago. I don't know, a little over 15 years ago, Max. I'm pulling over again because there's cars behind me. So, but the investors, the big sharks, the people who come in, with without the minorities or low income people in mind, but they come in with with money in mind because they want to invest. And I mean, I guess it's America. So, you know, it's only right for you to flip your money and and do what you have to do. So it's no big deal. But what V properties and those guys are doing is they're buying these lots for dirt cheap. They're buying these lots for dirt cheap. Right. They're putting these properties on them. And they're selling them for three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars, five hundred thousand dollars in West Kensington. Now, I know what you're thinking, dude. Who the heck would live in this neighborhood for four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars? Obviously, they're all getting sold, so somebody's willing to move in here. And it's not the poor people from this community, because as you heard, North Square was trying to keep the houses affordable, but you had the big investors coming in, and they're making these houses and these big properties, six, seven hundred thousand. That property on my right, right there on the corner is new. There used to be a little water ice, wholesale water ice Spanish spot where you could, or a Hispanic building where you can get water ice by the buckets wholesale for $10 a bucket. But they bought them out and they made that. And they're probably going to rent out each apartment for $2,300 a month, for $1,800 a month. And who's going to live in there? Not the poor people from the community, but the, you know, the people who come out from the suburbs who are looking for the city life. Look, this is Waterloo Playground on my left. And look at new property on my right. They squeezed that burgundy building in with the burgundy bricks. On our left, these two, brand new. This is where Serge was from too. Rest in peace, Serge. Um, and on our left, a new building. And as you can see on our right, two new buildings, three new buildings, four new buildings. And on our left, one, two, three. So you get the investors that they come in um, and, you know, it's, it's good. You know, gentrification has its pros and its cons. You know, pros, it makes everything look beautiful, cleans it up. It brings, hopefully, friendly. Like, all those new houses on our left, all that whole row of houses is new. Ouch. Ouch. One of the cons is these potholes. Like, they rip the streets open to build their houses, but they don't fix up the street at all. Like, they just leave it with craters in the ground. His Union Temple Worship on our left. This is like a little, this is called Kensington Townhouses on our right. This is a professionally managed community, kind of like low-income housing. Again, one of the low-income housing situations. And I don't think North Square had anything to do with this project right here. This is a separate project, but it is low-income housing. And it's in the Kensington neighborhood. That's why it's called the Kensington Townhouses. We're approaching Howard. Shout out to Old Band, graffiti writer Old Bands from this block. Uh, let's make this right-hand turn on Howard Street. We're coming off of Howard and we're gonna turn on to Lehigh Avenue. If we go forward, again, that's the Fair Hill neighborhood. Fair Hill was one of the largest open air drug markets of the 80s and I hate to say it, but still to this day, still a very active neighborhood. Let's make this right. That gas station on our left, Liberty Gas Station gets it popping. $3.35 per gallon of regular fuel. This lady always rides around her e-scooter. Normally she's, a, she, she's with a gentleman. She's not with him today. We're at front of Lehigh. That hospital on my right is Episcopal Hospital, and that's where I was born at. So when people be like, Tune, like, this guy is not from Philadelphia. You can totally tell he's from Milwaukee. I'm sorry that I uh, pronounce my syllables, and I speak as clear and efficiently as I can, but yeah, this is the hospital I was born at, y'all. Right here. 
Episcopal Hospital located at A and Lehigh Avenue. So as I was mentioning earlier in my gentrification spiel, um, the investors come in and they don't really have any pity for the original residents. They build, they build, they build. So that's cool. They make a huge profit. They buy these lots. All these lots just went up. Some of these lots were going for 7,000, 9,000, 10,000 before last year. As of last year, when they did the new property evaluation, now empty lots are going for 65,000. Bro, for 65,000, you could go get a country home somewhere in the middle of PA, Kansas, Ohio, North Carolina, South Carolina. You get a whole home with a bunch of land around you for 65,000. But right now, these little teeny weeny cute 40, Eight feet long by 12 feet wide, row home lots are going for 60, 70,000 a pop. And that's just in this neighborhood. In other neighborhoods, they go for more, right? So they're buying them for cheap, right? Even if they buy it for 60,000, they go spend 150, 200,000 to build a, a house on it. One of them three story bohemoth cardboard homes that we just passed. Some of them are visually appealing, some of them people hate. We're passing B Street, B and Lehigh Avenue. We're approaching Kensington Avenue. On our left hand side is where the, the, the open air. Uh, opioid crisis is taking place and that U-Haul center on our left they just made that that's relatively new if this bus wasn't blocking you'll see tents hold on let me see let me see come on bus move it no nah, the bus is not gonna move because there's a bunch of traffic and I got cars behind me but you can actually see tents on our left hand side across the street look look there's actually a few tents right there in the corner you see them but I'm gonna make this right on Kensington Ave so we're under Kensington Ave. If we go left, that's East Kensington. That's a separate neighborhood. That's really gentrified. Like if you think they're building over here on my right in West Kensington a lot, you haven't seen East Kensington yet. You can check out my old East Kensington videos. I'm going to do a new East Kensington virtual tour series for this whole Kensington uh, mini series that I'm doing, this docu-series. Okay, let us, we can make it right here, but that's gonna take us back to Lehigh. We can go straight, they're doing a bunch of road work right ahead of us. Oh, speaking of that, there, this is Kensington Mini Market on our left. They are, this is the back of Episcopal on our right. They are doing some renovations to the Rocky Gym, y'all. And I know I showed y'all that Rocky Gym over a dozen times. I've documented it on my channel for the last four or five plus years. Guess what, as of last week, they just started working on the Rocky Gym again. And it's all gated up around it, and I don't know what they're gonna turn it into. We're passing Potter Street. At one time, they tried to turn that Rocky Gym into a dollar store. It lasts for like a year or two, and then they went under. I guess it wasn't a, a, a profitable location to put a dollar store. But So I don't know if they're gonna make it like a, like a little cafe, or are they gonna make it living space? But it's definitely one of those historic bu buildings that was in the movie. So we're not gonna go any further forward. We're gonna make a left coming up. We're passing Water Street. As of recently, last year, there was a young man that was shot in the head here on the left-hand side on Water Street, right? But what's on my right-hand side? What did I mention was on my right-hand side? A hospital. So I believe he was very fortunate because he got shot one block away from a hospital in the head. And I think they rushed him off to the hospital. And I believe he survived it. So with that being said, you know, you, you can't get any luckier than that. 2559, brand new home on our left hand side, guys. Three story, 2559 is for sale. Look at, they're selling one of the original ones right here. Look at it, you see it? So, again, like I was saying, my, look at, there's a little rest in peace thing out here. Yeah, rest in peace. You see that um, Christmas hat and you see the flowers on the floor? And there's a bunch of Hennessy bottles. Somebody, oh, there's bullets. Bro, somebody's vehicle that's parked right there got a bunch of bullets through the front windshield, bro. That is crazy. So somebody just got shot there, man. That's a shame. Speaking of one shooting, look at another person didn't survive and they were right behind a what? A hospital. So I guess, you know, you can't win them all. You win some and you lose some. But in this case, you're losing lives. And this isn't GTA. This isn't put a cheat code and you come back again. Everybody only gets a lot at one life. You only got one life to live, guys. And how will you spend it? Let's make this left hand turn. We got the ambulance coming. Let's make this left. Um, so I'm gonna do a trick move here. I'm gonna go, cause I kinda wanna take you guys under Kensington L. So at least you guys, look, there's a tent right there on my left. You see that lot? So you see where it says 2440 lofts? That used to be one of those um, AAA, Alcoholics Anonymous buildings right here on my right. But on our left, that was an empty lot. But the people used to hang out in the lot and keep it clean and everything. You know, they used to have little meetings in the lot. They must've bought it out and they made that gigantic loft. 
This block back in the day used to be like trashy, trashy. Look at they made a bunch of new houses on my right. Bunch of new houses. Um, oh, Paho, Paho. Uh oh, uh oh. It's Costanza. Where you at with, with the bricks, bro? You you supposed to be out here waiting for for me. <laughs> Look at new property on our right. All new built buildings. That's Hunter Elementary School in front of us. That was also made. That literally closed up a whole block in Philly. There used to be um, Hope Street there, and I used to buy fireworks from Mr. Tom. If you guys know, then you know. If you're from the area, Tom used to sell fireworks before they were legal. When fireworks were illegal, he's been raided several times. <laughs> like he used to sell fireworks, sticks of dynamite, rockets, bottle rockets, ro uh, Roman candles, all sorts of whistlers. I mean, all the good stuff, he used to sell them. And his house was on that block where they built the school on. And I guess they probably made him an offer. They probably made him an offer to buy his house. And there was only about three or four houses left on that block. We're passing Lee Street. Look, they're making new houses right here on my left. Look at that three story. You see them? And these guys right here, these Hispanics, make note, majority of these homes that are built all throughout Philadelphia are made by Hispanics. I'll let that process. From the masonry to the framework to all the hard, heavy duty work. These houses are made by Hispanics. And you got two or three young men right here that are probably Ecuadorian. They're probably Mexican. They're probably Venezuelan. They come from South America and they build the houses, guys, you know? And then sometimes, you know, the actual electrical work and all that will be done by people from other walks of life. We're passing water. I could have went up water. This is the block where the guy got gunned down at and he lived because he was right next to a hospital. We got Black Tire Shop right here on our left. That used to be the old Kelly's Corner on our left. I came through here because I want you guys to see the renovation they're starting here in West slash East Kensington. Remember, East Kensington's to my left, gentrified. High value area. On my right, it's pretty high value, but it's still being worked on. Look at new properties on my right. And look at what they're doing. They're doing some work, guys, to the above ground Blue Line train track. We got inner city missions on our left. There's a soup kitchen too. We passed the soup kitchen. Listen. They're pressure washing, guys. It sounds like they're pressure washing the above ground train. Look at this is a new building on our left. Speaking of the train, the train's turning right in above us. So they're pressure washing the Liberty Maintenance. Yeah. So I believe that they are going to. Yo, the Transformers movie, they shot a scene right here in front of us at Front and York. They shot a couple movies under here. They shot Transformers right here in front of us. They shot 21 Bridges in front of us under this L. They shot Shooters under this L and they shot the Rocky movie under this L. They shot four major Hollywood features here in West Kensington and East Kensington right under this very L. If we go right, we would have hit York Street, which is where Hunter and all that's at. Look at that mural on my right. You see that mural? Before that lot was empty, it used to be a dollar store. This is Front Street. I used to go here when I was a kid, hang out and buy stuff. Now it's not the same like it used to be 20 years ago. On our left, we got some new buildings. There, there used to be a Payless there and all that. Four Sons used to be on my right. If you know about Four Sons, they had the best pizza in the world. Right here on my right. Boost Mobile, Olympia. I used to go to that Olympia when I was a kid. I haven't been to Olympia in probably 15, 20 years. Um, but I used to go to that specific Olympia when I was a kid. On my right, that's the entrance to the York Dolphin train station. And it's right next to West Kensington Library. When I was a youngster, I actually used to work at that library. Yeah, Toon used to work at a library and my pay stub said City of Philadelphia. Go figure, huh? On our left, we got Advanced Pawn Shop. So this whole little strip used to be thriving back in the day. You used to hear music and people coming to shop. Not anymore. On our right, it's new property being built. There used to be several buildings there. One of them collapsed when we were on our 48 state cross country trip and somebody was stuck on the inside. They're building new buildings over here. And guess what? We're approaching where the Rocky gym is at, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming up. They shot the original Rocky movie here, but they also shot one of the later ones when he came back, one of his revival movies before the franchise was down for a little bit. Stelio's Pizza on our left. I believe they shot the bar scene right there on our left. On our right, this is Row Home Cafe. This is a brand new cafe. This, 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 this used to be a, what you call them? Like a mental health um, hospital, like a office where you would get like, um, what's, what's that called? Like therapy and all of that. So that building on our left with the gates around it, with the little blue porter potty, that's the Rocky gym. And as you can see, there's gates around it. So they're good. So they're about to start doing some work to it guys, you know? And then in, in the Rocky movie, Rocky goes across the street to a 
pet shop. I used to go to that pet shop a lot. That empty lot on my right, that's where the pet shop once stood. Unfortunately, the pet shop did not stand uh, the passage of time. But the Rocky Gym is still there and the building is for lease. We are now approaching Diamond. This is Diamond Street. We're approaching the intersection of Front and Diamond and they shot the movie Shooters with Mark Wahlberg and Danny Glover on our right hand side. 